Welcome again to End Zone Online. I'm George Ayub with Bobby Mills, the 1,000 yard guy. We're at Memorial Stadium at Grand Island Senior High School and we are talking prep football. Bobby, we had uh, week uh, two in the books, week one, the NSAA's week one, but week two in the books, some uh, some terrific matchups and some uh, great games. Um, wrap up a little bit from the, the second week of high school football for us. Well, the game I was, was uh, attending uh, Hastings Adams Central, or Adams Central as they like to be known, and Cozad. Great opening matchup in Class B. Adams Central won a tough game, 17 to nothing. Featured the two Jakes, two of the top running backs in the state, Jake Paulson of Cozad and Jake Fowler of Adams Central. So um, Fowler had 142 yards. Paulson had an 89 yard touchdown called back, but uh, AC uh, just proved to be the tougher team on that night, but Cozad will have a good season. And uh, Grand Island Northwest went over to Hastings with a win under their belt and uh, really exploded. The oh, offense exploded. My. Zach Rose, another terrific week. He was our player of the week last week, but the Vikings, uh, they have it going. They sure do. And, I, you know, at McCook this week, that's one to keep your eye on. They, they must have some confidence. And, of course, this class was the class that was supposed to be the Ballyhooed class. And so far, they're, they're uh, living up to that expectation. Living up to the expectation. That yep. will be a tough one. I was in uh, Lincoln Thursday for Grand Island Senior High and uh, Lincoln Southwest. Mm -hmm. uh, Lincoln Southwest, one of the top teams in Class A. The Islanders played them very tough. Southwest got a couple big plays. Uh, right. Josh Banderas, the Husker re recruit, had about a 70-yard run from scrimmage. And then they took the second half kickoff back, Easton Edmonds, 102 oh, yards. Boy. And you know, those are those are big plays to overcome, but the Islanders played tough. They gave up a lot of size on the line, but uh, I think Jeff Tollum's gonna have it. They're a scrappy bunch. I think they'll win some ball games. They should, they must've gotten worn down by the way it sounded, but they competed for quite a while they in really that game. Did. And of course, Grand Island Central Catholic here against Minden last Friday, oh. that was really a barn burner. Boy, that came right down to the wire and, you know, a great stop at the goal line to, you know, to get that overtime win over Minden, who's not that bad of a football team. So there were a lot of good games around here. So uh, Heartland, Heartland Lutheran uh, took it on the chin in, in Lincoln at Parkview Christian. They did, but they scored 28 points in the they, end. You know, and that's a good... They four touchdowns out of it. Good so, comeback You know, them. that's something that uh, they can build on down there yes. at Heartland Lutheran. Mm -hmm. So uh, some terrific games. Uh, any big upsets during uh, the first, second week of ball? Well, the one that shocked me was Wahoo just blasting Boys Town, you know, 45 to 18. And uh, I didn't expect that. And here you have Tyler Cavan, Wahoo's big running back, wasn't feeling well, couldn't breathe, has 289 yards rushing at the end of three quarters, ends up at 320. I hate to see what he can breathe. Oh, my Lord. And Boys Town, <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't do that terrific. to Kevin yeah. Cush's teams. Yeah. Well, there are some great games, and uh, every week, ladies and gentlemen, we choose a player of the week from our area, and uh, this week we had, as I said, Zach Rose, who was our player of the week last week, had a terrific game, 394 yards passing, but I think your player of the week this week is going to come on the ground game, is that right? Yes, it's, yes, and I keep wanting to say Luke Van Meter, who was a former 1,000-yard rusher of mine from Gibbon. This is Eli, Eli Van Meter, right. and he had 278 yards on 29 carries. Touchdown runs of three, three, and 20 yards as uh, his team beat Wood River 33 to 20. So Van Meter, not very big guy, about 150 pounds, I think, at the tops, but he's a, he's a tough runner inside or outside, and he has a line this year, so I think Gibbon's gonna do very well. I'd like to salute Eli and his wonderful coach, Mark McLaughlin, and his O-line. Terrific. So uh, the Independent gets a certificate to our Players of the Week, and we will feature them uh, each week on End Zone Online. So let's look forward, Bobby, to uh, this coming week. Right here at uh, Memorial Stadium, the Islanders, who are 1-1, one and one, take on the 1-1 one and one West Side Warriors, who lost in overtime to prep. Right. Any thoughts on that upcoming Class A contest? Well, West Side is going to provide a great opposition for Grand Island. They have a, a running back who was not supposed to be the load carrier this year by the name of Lane Yates. A week ago against Omaha Central, or, or two weeks ago, I should say, he had 134 yards and 34 carries. So I guess he is carrying the load. This week, 203 yards on 23 carries. That's a lot of yards, 337 for the year. And the thing about this guy is he's, he's used to be a slasher and a darter outside. They've taught him how to run between the tackles. Very formidable. They have enough of a passing game uh, to get by 
but uh, they're going to have to stop this Yates kid on the ground. I'm sure. First uh, and foremost. I'm sure. Uh, Defensive uh, coordinator Mike Shadwinkle has his number. Yes. On the Islander side of the ball, I, was, I mentioned before we came on the air here that uh, Andrew Rojas had another great game in a losing effort at Southwest. Tough runner. Oh, boy. And, you know, for, for a kid his size, he runs tough between the tackles. Which does prove that you don't have to be a big guy to play in Class yeah. A football. Two back, you know, back-to-back 100-yard -back games, great effort, yeah. great effort. So it should be a good one out here. That's Friday night. Uh, we'll have highlights of that game uh, online at theindependent.com. Uh, Northwest is heading to McCook, uh, right. and McCook out of the gate has had some tough games. Boy, they had. You know, Scotts Bluff held that team last week to 168 total yards, 73 yards on the ground in 30 carries. Yeah, that's just un I, it's, it's unheard of for McCook. You know, and Jeff Gross is. This is a big. This is make it or break it game. This for is McCook. a huge game, and I think so. Also, I think you know if the Vikings can get past McCook at McCook. They are on their way to a terrific season. I mean, they're already out of the gate well. They are, and this is a pivotal game for them also. But I think the Vikings will do very well down there. I, McCook has a pretty good defense, but their offense is really sputtering. So I do, I'd look for a great ball game. This is a great opportunity for Northwest. Grand Island sent to Catholic. Uh, they traveled to SCOTUS. They traveled to Columbus, SCOTUS. Now SCOTUS lost last week to Aquinas. Everybody loses to David City Aquinas. <laughs> uh, they have a good running back by the name of, uh, if I can see it here, Jake Huss, 739 last year's, but they they have the same names. Loms have been there for a while. They've got Kyle Bonk. I played against his brother. Scotus is just a tough, raw football team. They're just they they the raw basics have been ingrained since they were a little kid. It's going to be a tough game, they, you know, and it, it should be a good game. Yeah, Riley, it's, it's nice on the road to have an experienced quarterback like Riley Shoemaker. Yep, and they'll yeah. be playing on Columbus's yeah. newly installed yeah. field and turf. Columbus will have the new turf, and right. so uh, I think Central Catholic will, uh, you know, take their A game up to Columbus and try to get one on the road and go to 2-0. and Heartland Lutheran, uh, they have their work cut out for them this week again. Right. Lawrence they, Nelson, right? They, they play Lawrence Nelson. Brian Blevins, one of my old thousand yarders from out of Stapleton, took over the program when Gary DeBoer, DeBoer retired five years ago. He's done a marvelous job. So they have a player that came back this year, Dan Schroer, a good Lawrence name down there. He missed the entire year last year. He's back this year, great athlete. Plus they have a fullback who had, listen to this, George, 800 yards, 11 touchdowns in the last four games of the season last year. So how many times is this big guy going to get the ball? Yeah, I, I'd say as, as often as he wants, <laughs> as often as he wants. Yes. So just to recap, ladies and gentlemen, Grand Island Senior High right here at Memorial Stadium against Westside. The Vikings of Northwest will travel to McCook. Grand Island Central Catholic will be down the road in Columbus against SCOTUS. And Heartland Lutheran, that, that's a home game. I, I, th I thought it was on the road. Or on the sure. road at Lawrence Nelson, yes. They're on the road at Lawrence Nelson. Those are our four town teams. What they're doing, this is... Um, uh, I hope that the weather cools off for him. It's about 192 degrees right now at Memorial but Stadium sitting down. on the turf. Right. So this has been End Zone Online. I'm George Ayub with Bobby Mills. Look for highlights of the Grand Island Westside game uh, over the weekend. For uh, That'll be at theindependent.com. Thanks to Denton Cushing, the man behind the scene here, uh, making us look as good as he possibly can, and that's tough work for a couple of mugs yes, like us. Yes, it is. I'm George Ayub for End Zone Online. Thanks for tuning in.